Hello y'all. Welcome to part 13 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 12, we continued to drive back the Commune of France and their allies, and also we encircled a bunch of enemy divisions that will probably soon be destroyed at the rate that battle is going over here. So let's unpause now and continue our advance and try to drive for Bordeaux. Capture that place. We're back in France now. We got driven back earlier on in this playthrough by the Third International. That's going to change now, though. We may have some of these divisions try to go for Paris and see what happens. I don't know. It could work out for us. It could go horribly wrong. We'll see. Let's also try to surround these troops in Catalonia. Catal yeah, down there. Try to surround them. Destroy this enemy group here. They're going to be annihilated very soon. Those troops are. Like I said, at the rate that battle is going, they're going to be gone. And here's some more divisions. Oh, those are garrison troops. I mean, they're yeah, they're garrison troops. Don't use them. Don't use those units for that. And let's end this naval invasion attempt down here. Some lend lease has been canceled. All right, we got some lend lease from Sweden though. Thank you, Sweden. I appreciate the rifles, the infantry equipment anyway. And let's put some more divisions in our garrison army. That's done. There's another infantry division for Army Eight, who will probably go help out the rest of our troops in France at this point. Try to push out these enemies here. Are they still surviving? They are going to destroy. Yeah, those divisions are just disappearing. They're going to be gone very soon. Continue to push here. Get to Toulouse and try to get there. Toulouse, whatever. Keep pushing. To just take as much territory as we can. More divisions here for the 8th Army. And let's maybe move the 8th Army to this front in Catalonia and give them the color of red. And their objective is to maybe try and take the rest of this area for the esoteric realm of the true France, aka Rene Gunan's Morocco. Is this force here destroyed? Not yet. There's soon to be, though. Are we getting to Paris? It looks like we are, slowly but surely. It's taking some time. There's some Lindleys from Ukraine. Thank you, Ukraine. Crete has capitulated. I think they're a puppet of the Germans. I guess got naval invaded by someone. There's more units for our garrison force. And let's just have them guard the coastline. They need 76 divisions to do that. And they're just going to be doing that now. Don't worry about victory points at all. Just guard the coastline. Or actually do both. I don't care. Let's have them defend these areas as well. Defend victory points, naval bases, and the coastline. That's their goal with the, what is it, the 4th Army, which has 69 divisions at this point. There are some more units here, another division for the 8th Army. They're going to continue driving into this area. We're going to take more of this area. Well, not th this Catalonia. We need to take more of Catalonia. Get more of that under our control. Let's get Barcelona eventually. There's only one division here. Encircle it. Take it. And we can capture or destroy the rest of these divisions once they're trapped here. And let's try to make it hard for the enemy to escape by advancing into France a little bit more. Here's some more divisions for us. Oh my goodness. We're just having so many units made right now. How's the gun situation looking? We need more guns at all? No, we're not doing too bad. I mean, we're going to have 101 factories. Let's have 100 factories on gun manufacturing. Let's also start making queue up support equipment. We'll start using that as well as artillery in the near future. We're going to try and transition per se with our army and transition away from having a pure infantry force to try and having some support artillery and support companies as well. And let's start researching improved computing machine to get a research speed buff. And we're just crushing the Third International at this point. We lost early on in this playthrough against them because I think we didn't have enough guns let's get some more divisions here for the garrison force there we are and they're just guarding the coastline and everywhere else everything that has victory points that's what they're assigned to defend there we go defend this area too and these units are going to be gone these troops are destroyed catalonia will be ours and once this victory is secured here we'll control all of iberia once again and continue our drive into France. We'll have to create a new front line for our troops. We have two encirclements actually. That's just brutal on the commune of France. He's going to lose a huge amount of troops after all is said and done due to these encirclements. Look at those armored divisions. They're going to just disappear. Look at them go. Encirclement penalties everywhere as far as I can see. Those divisions are gone, gone, gone. More unassigned divisions here. Let's get a new army together actually. No, actually, what can we do? The many of death that affects the Entente. Now let's give a couple divisions from the 8th Army to the who? To the... To 
the fifth army. There we are. Give one division from Army 9 to them as well. To the fifth army. Get a new commander and have them do something. That guy is going to be inexperienced, but it's fine. Give him color of orange, brown, whatever that color is. And have him push into France with the rest of our troops. We might need to get another field marshal, field marshal honestly. Well, honestly, yeah, we need another field marshal at the rate we're going. At the rate of which our army is expanding. And a lot of countries cancel Lend-Lease with us. I don't care. The Lend-Lease they did give us got us through the rough situation where we had no guns for a good amount of time. We had to dedicate almost all of our factories to manufacturing weapons to get us out of a deficit. Now let's relocate our air force out of here. Move them to Bordeaux and try to have them push in southern France. Dominate the skies there. Move some planes here as well. Go into southern France. Thank you. Move some fighters out of this air base. Go to this air base in Catalonia and try to dominate southern France. That's all I gotta do. Also move this close air support out of here also. And we're pushing hard, so hard to fall of Atlanta. How's the second American Civil War going? I wonder. It is, wow. I thought the Pacific States of America would have won by now, but they haven't. It looks like, I don't know, it's a big mess, frankly. It could go anyway at this point, I think. Here's some more unassigned divisions. Give them to Army 9. Continue to push. Just push. Never ending. And let's redo our front line here with Army Group 1. Do that. And set these troops up to push every place they can in France with over 100 122 divisions. We're going to push with 122 divisions toward Paris and toward every place to French control. But the Commune of France controls. After this, we're going to try and naval invade the Union of Britain. And once that is done, the Third International will be gone. And Morocco, well, no, that's a garrison force. The esoteric realm of the true France will start having more wars to fight. You see, we have a focus called the ruler of the world and the sultan of the world. And how that works is we'll try to fight every country in the world, which I'm sure will end well for us. And here's some more divisions. Good. Move them over here. Lend lease is being canceled, whatever. Move them to the these divisions to the 9th Army. Keep pushing. How is our Navy looking? We have some dockyards under our control now. Let's start building more destroyers, perhaps. We're going to just move tons of naval bombers into the English Channel. We might as well do that. I don't think we're under threat from any naval invasions anymore down here. Move these naval bombers up here. Well, somewhere. Move them here into Bordeaux. Focus on the Bay of Biscay. Biscay. And just have them operate out of there for now. Keep pushing. And the Commune of France is just co collapsing. I don't have many divisions they have at this point. And the Reich's Pact is pushing more themselves. Where's that war at? Where's our war here? Okay, there it is. The Commune of France is really not doing so well. They've lost over... They're nearly lost... Well, they've lost over 2.5... 2.50 million troops. We've lost nearly 6 million. And we have tons of manpower, though, so it's fine. 141 manpower. We have cores on everything. It doesn't matter for us. And let's move these divisions here. Oh, these are garrison troops. Just send them to go garrison stuff. That's all you have to do. That is done. And we need those naval bombers to get into position once we have enough troops to do so. Push towards Cherbourg here. Maybe we could launch a naval invasion while we're in the process of doing this war with France. Burma has just capitulated. Get a new army established here. Give these divisions to that force. Now we have an army. What is this? Army what? Army who? What army is this? Army 10. That's Army 10. Okay, so Army 10 gets a new commander, and, well, they need a commander. We're out of commanders we started with. We have no more to fall. Well, no, we had to get generic commanders at this point. And where's our Navy at? They are just sort of existing down here. Where's our Admiral? He's not doing nothing. So let's move this force of ships down here. It had been repelling, well, they've been repairing for some time. Move all these destroyers toward the English Channel, or maybe toward... La Rochelle for now. Just sit there until we beat France or take some kind of port and then we'll just go forward and defeat the British at some point. Here's some more divisions for Army 10 and have them push maybe toward Normandy and try to set up some naval invasions possibly. Okay, we're doing good. France is soon going to have to capitulate it. Capitulate rather they like it or not. Let's push here in Marcel. Go there. Push everywhere we can. Just drive back the enemy at all costs. Destroy these divisions here. Okay, never mind. Just push where we can. Take these ports in Brittany. Or one port in Brittany. Take that for us. And also start sending some naval bombers into the English Channel once we take this airport here. 
That's done. That airbase in Upper Brittany is now secured by us. Move some planes up to it. The air troop, well, the air wings we have, naval bombers. That's going to be 400 naval bombers there. Also give them some fighter support and try to take control of the seas with our navy once we get in a position to send some, sh send some ships up there. And hopefully any possible naval invasions will go off without any problems, without a hitch, so to speak. Here's some more troops for the garrisons. Good, let's have them start garrisoning garrison more of France. Just hold on to all the ports down here. Is that a naval invasion or they're just trapped? I think they're just trapped. Doesn't matter now. And let's have these divisions get set up in position to guard the ports. Well, coastline of France. Destroy this captured division. I mean, this encircled division, they're going to be gone. And let's have the... Who is this? The 10th Army? Have them set up in maybe... Okay, let's have them set up over here in Brittany. And have them launch, like, several naval invasions into what? Into England. And hopefully they will have naval superiority, naval supremacy to do that very soon. We're sending tons of naval bombers here. They better have enough naval supremacy. I hope the British are distracted enough, frankly. Let's so move all these units here. And so we, once we take care of both France and... Oh no, gotta fix that order then. Once we take care of both Britain and France, that'll be it for the Third International. They are the faction leaders. So once they're gone, that faction will be gone as well. And have those troops get into position there. Where's our navy? Get them into position. And get this admiral here. Move him to Brittany. He'll just hang out there. For now, how's the naval and how's the navy situation looking? It is. We are dominating the sea, pretty much there, and we just need to do this real quick. Get this naval invasion launched. Hopefully, very soon. If we do get it launched, let's send the was it? Let's put the Eighth Army here. They'll just back up the landing force of the Tenth Moroccan Army once they are sent into they are sent into where? Sent into England if they get there at all. Let's continue surrounding the French. Paris is not secured yet. The Italian Federation declared war on Austria. That's going to be a big war. And let's continue surrounding the French. Can this naval invasion go yet? I really wanted to start. Unassigned divisions. Give them over to the 10th Army. And make a new army with a couple of these divisions. There's just so many troops we have. It is ridiculous and absurd. Just absurd so much. France. Capitulating. France is not capitulated just yet. They're soon going to do it, though. Now let's get some more support equipment made, more guns as well, more artillery. And we have over 100 factories on guns. Let's move that to 115 just so we don't get behind on anything. We need more steel, though. We have tons of steel. It doesn't matter anymore. We don't need steel anymore. Flanders, Millennia, we're good. So take this area here. Are they in position yet? Are they ready to go? 12 days for a naval invasion. Come on. It takes so long to get that done. Trade has been stopped with one place. Oh, well. And how is this going? We have 14 days, 15 very soon. Oh my goodness, I just can't wait for it enough. I'm anticipating the naval invasion so much right now. Let's have the 4th Army get to work garrison, garrison more of France, Brittany, garrison that place. And how is the English fleet doing, the British Navy? Well, the Union of Britain Navy, they're losing tons of ships. Okay, that's to be expected, that's what we want to see. We need them to suffer so that we thrive as the esoteric realm of the true France. How is France even still alive? Like, what is keeping them in this fight? Is it because, I don't know really, I'm confused. How have they not capitulated yet? Are they ready? Are they ready yet? Good, there goes the naval invasion. We're gonna go for England, here we are. Are we gonna be able to land? I have no idea. Okay, not in Plymouth. Plymouth looks like it's a no-go. Portsmouth, I don't know. Dover, maybe Dover. Can we take Dover? We are gonna try and take Dover. Can we use force attack? We can't use force attack. I guess we'll attempt to do this once again with our troops. And it looks like this naval invasion is a bust. The fall of Paris. That has occurred. And there is a victory for us. The Commune of France has capitulated. That's bad for the... Bad... And, well, it's terrible for the Union of Britain, who's now on its own. So to speak. Well, it's not on its own. They're just the main... Ma they're now just the only major country in the... Third International, and now the problem is for us, is that the enemy is going to go very, how to say, they're going to dedicate a lot of troops to just defending the, their homeland, their home islands. Land in Cornwall, maybe, if we can pull that off, I don't know. Try to keep sending more troops into the mainland, not even at ports, just land and fight your way to a port. 
that will work honestly and that will do fine by me if we can just accomplish that so Paris is out of the war we have defeated well we defeated the commune of France now it's just us the esoteric realm of the true France and the French national state who we will go for later are these naval invasions ready we had to get the divisions the divisions prepared all right then and I'm going to end part 13 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there.